Okay, sorry for such a long time between the tutorials, but uh, Blender is kind of driving me crazy with the crashes and the mix-up of hotkeys and a lot of stuff, so I didn't really work too much on it, but I did do some stuff. But my computer, I ordered a new one. It's a Dell i5 core, so hopefully that'll be better than my last one, and I can make better tutorials. So in this one, I'm actually going to show you how to make a uh, realistic electrical plug. Just this part right there. Let me make that a little better. And bring that whole thing down. There you go. Just like that. This right here. Now take a look at yours. It looks very similar. So that's what I'm going for. I made a lamp too. But I'm just going to focus on this and some material for it. Not going to be exact material, of course, depending on what your scene is going to be. Cartoon or realistic or just you know average animation so let's start a new file alright so let's get started let's X and delete that and alright there you are shift A and let's add a plane let's hit 3 R 90 rotate 90 degrees just like that let's hit 1 tab into edit mode Box select the top vertices and bring them down because, as you know, that they're not rectangular. They're when they're not square, they're rectangular. So now we can add a subsurf modifier, just like that. All right, now let's just hit this button right here. We're gonna need it later. And five. I like working in ortho view better than perspective. All right. So now let's hit A to select all. Now we're gonna hit E and extrude it some then hit S and scale it out a little bit E again and as you can see if I leave the if I leave that extrusion as it is it acts as a loop cut that's pretty cool but uh, I actually want to hit S to scale that out and bring it out a little bit and hit E again not as much as the first one E once more and S again to scale it in this time E, E again, scale that out a little bit, bring it out, then extrude it once more, maybe uh, like that, oops, E, S, extrude it, extrude it once more, just leave it like that. There we go, now it's circular so we can of course fix that. First let's smooth shade it. Tab in edit mode, control R to make some loop cuts, then S and X, scale it out in the X, not all the way, but very close to the edge, not so close actually because it's not perfectly rectangular, it's actually quite circular, so. Now I'm actually going to hit A to deselect any, hit B and bring this out a little bit more. Alright, now I'm going to control R. And add six loop cuts. Two, four, six, yep. Six loop cuts. Add, oh, undo that. Control R twice, S and Z to bring them in a little closer. Alright, now we can actually go into face select mode and right click on these. This whole top. Make sure that you're on the vis uh, that you deselect the limit visibility to selection button because that allows you to see through it and also allows you to select any that are on that side. And since we want it to be symmetrical and I don't want to get a mirror modifier, then you can make sure that you get both sides. So we can hit E to extrude it, but we don't want to extrude it up along the Z. So we want to hit right click, then S to scale it in, and then bring it down. Just drag along the Z, just like that. So now we made our first notch, I guess you could say. Alright, so now let's work on the others. B to box select what we want. E, right click, S, bring it down. E, S, down. And there we go. Oops, hit three. E, 
S. Does it look like it, Junior? Yeah. Yeah. And I have a my lamp that I actually modeled my real lamp. That's the what you saw when I first brought it up. And so I unplugged it so I can have a nice look at the plug. Uh, and my little brother's looking at it, and <laughs> it does look like it, so it's a win. Alright, alright, and one more thing, it's hit, oops, A to D select all, and three, let's go in the vertex select mode, hit B to select, let's deselect, let's unclick that limit visibility to, to, da 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 button. And I actually want to, I, I didn't actually try this out on all of them, so let's see how this is going to work. Because it's actually a little rounder than this, this is kind of squarish, so I'm going to see if I can hit S to scroll that in. Yeah, that looks much better. There we go. Yeah, take a look at yours. They're more, they're more rounded than square, so I think that really helps on the realisticness of it. Alright, and just shift right click on any that you might have toggled that we don't need. Alright, so now let's hit S to scale that in a little bit. Control 1 gives you the back view, so you might want to hit that. Then just drag up along the Z. Alright, and that gives us a nice circular look. Awesome. Alright, this might actually up here be a little exaggerated, so in order to get our proportions right, I'm going to tab into edit mode, click on this button again, and box select the whole top half and just bring it all in. That's better. Alright, now I modeled the tip 1 and deselect, and I modeled the the plugs as uh, within the object. I didn't model it like with another cube. So I just want to grab those and hit one again. Add a loop cut right up and up there and a loop cut right down there. And you can go into face like mode. Shift right click on these three faces. Four, seven. E, right click and E again. By doing hitting E twice, we gave ourselves an already made loop cut. So that uh, saves us an extra step since we know there has to be a loop cut there. Alright, now we can hit control, we can hit R and make a loop cut there. Not all the way because they have sort of a beveled edge right along the side. And I found this is the best way to replicate it without. Uh, getting a lot of loop cuts in there and trying to move it down by hand so that's what I'm doing there alright now we can hit one and I'm only going to do it on one side you can do it on the other prong so add two loop cuts bring them over along the Y close to the middle and these two loop cuts actually serve pretty good so I'm just going to use those go into face like mode right click on this middle face and delete that face same with the back face. Now we're left with the hole. Now that's going to serve, that's how we're going to cut a hole into it. So if you go into edge select mode, right click on the two adjacent faces, the edges, and hit F to fill. F to fill. F to fill. It's a pretty good way of filling in a hole. Oops, what did I click? It's a pretty good way of filling in a hole without uh, having to cut but without having to merge a circle and a mesh together in a square mesh so it's another tip it's not a perfect circle but we're going to be looking at it closely anyways right all right let's go back in the vertex select mode and i want to box select these vertices because if you notice one prong is always slightly bigger than the other one slightly bigger just like that Let's bring it up. See? Yep. My brother concurs. I just watched uh, 
Leonardo DiCaprio's old movie, Catch Me If You Can. Cool movie. I liked it. Uh, it's a lot like White Collar, though. They stole that idea. Well, White Collar stole their idea, but whatever. Um, Alright, so now we have that done. You can just punch a hole in the other one the same way as we did with this one. Now I'm just going to add some quick materials. New material. Name that Black Plastic. And give it a dark look, of course. Increase specularity and decrease the hardness, giving it that plastic look. Right? That fake plastic look. Alright, now we go on tab and edit mode. Uh, toggle that button. Select all of the vertices. Oh, I suck at this. Alright, it's at 7. Well,. I do. These select that button and I'm just going to do it by hand. And just select all of the vertices that are with this mesh with the prongs. That way we can give this a different material without having to separate it. Right now we have all that. Let's click on the plus sign and I'm using the SVN uh, build. So I don't have to deselect that two there, but if you do, deselect that two and name this metal and give that a silver color, increase specularity, and click assign. So any vertices that you selected were assigned to that right there. When one thing you see this uh, material spilling over, just add a loop cut and bring that back. Just like that. Bam. Easy way. Alright, and there we have our electrical plug. Uh, it's quite big, of course. You know, scale that down. Um, I'll come out with the wall outlet in a little bit. Um, and I'll give it somewhere to give it somewhere to put it in. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stick, stay tuned. Once I get my computer, I will be making lots more. Uh, so, yep, thanks for watching.